Why do sim racers wear gloves? That's the question I'm going to answer for you. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing as I try to post new racing content weekly. And while you're down there, if you can add a like, it just helps the channel grow. We just recently hit 300 subscribers. And so that's on my way to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So let's continue to grow this community and bring more people into these videos. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch, there's a link down in the description. I usually am racing on weekends and sometimes on Fridays and sometimes on Thursday nights. In this video, I'm just going to talk about racing gloves. I like to wear gloves when I'm sim racing and these are some of the reasons why because I get a lot of comments on Instagram or on TikTok or on YouTube and people always just have a comment about why I'm wearing gloves and so I mean it's just a topic that I don't see too many people talk about and I just wanted to bring some of this to light. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the different types of gloves. My first pair of gloves I use are the Alpine Stars Tech One ZX V2 gloves. They're the type of gloves that you'll see a lot of professionals wear, so from GTD all the way to Formula One, and they tend to get hot, so keep that in mind for sim racing. But you can use them at track days, and they are standard FIA homologated to protect you against fires and heat, so that's a plus if you do both. Another plus, they are touch compatible for phones and tablets, so you'll be able to use your phone or even use your keypad when you are sim racing. The other pair of gloves you'll catch me wearing 90% of the time in my videos are carding gloves. Alpine Stars makes these lightweight, breathable, and very grippy on the fingers gloves and it's also grippy on the palms so you can have so much more control of the wheel and you feel like with all the the forces from the steering wheel that you're not going to lose any control they also they're touchscreen compatible and i feel the perfect gloves for sim racing so i highly recommend those if you're looking for any gloves here are a couple reasons why i wear gloves my hands get sweaty, especially when I'm nervous and in some serious head-to-head -head battles. Sim racing gets hot and I am in this little space racing for 45 minutes surrounded by triple monitors and trying to beat people around me. So I tend to, you know, get sweaty palms. My first wheel had Alcantara and nobody wants a crusty wheel from some sweat and dirt touching the wheel. So that's just foul in my opinion. If you're going to do long stints or races, your hands can get fatigued, especially on a tough track like Nürburgring. My races at minimum are 45 minutes and with the formula wheel in between your thumbs, it can get a little tough on the hands and actually can make them raw. And also, I just don't like to get calluses on my hands. So why not try to protect my hands a little more? People that aren't professionals that do track days wear gloves and sim racing is just as tough on your hands with all the force feedback and the amount of focus you need to stay on track. So I don't understand why some people make the stupid comments of why sim racers wear gloves, but you know, to each their own, I guess. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching until this point. I know that something like this can be subjective, but you know, we all have our personal preferences and these are just mine and my reasons why. Uh, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.